Something a little bit different today, we're going to test some battery chargers. This is the charger I use the most, the double rapid Makita 18 volt charger. And in here we have the Chinese knockoff equivalent from Banggood. Oh wow, it's got instructions. None of the other Banggood stuff I have received has had any instructions. But, as you can see, they've sent it with the wrong plug. Well done. I ordered it with an AU plug, which is Australia, New Zealand. And they've sent one with a UK plug and an adapter to a New Zealand, Australian one. Okay. Oh well. At least it'll still work, hopefully. Now these chargers supposedly run between 100 and 250 volts, so you don't have to have a different one for the States, Japan, Europe, everybody is all the same. It somehow knows why they don't make them all like that, why these ones aren't made like that. Well, let's have a look why. Suitable for my kit batteries. So comparing these, the genuine Makita is the weight of a concrete block. Whereas the knockoff one is feels like a piece of polystyrene. Size wise, as you can see, the Makita much bigger. Cord length. I can't plug in this one on the bench. The Makita one I can plug in, it still has plenty of cord left. This one, too short. These are very tight, well sprung, feel fairly solid. These are very flimsy. One reason why this is probably a lot heavier is this area here on both ports, it has a fan. This one does not. That is the biggest fail, as far as I'm concerned, because I want a fan. Some parts of the world people don't like the fans, but if you live somewhere warm, not some Sasquatch snow planet, then you want the fans. If you're in Australia, and you don't have that fan blowing in there, your battery's just going to be overheating. Or well, you put your battery on, it's too hot, you need that fan to cool it down before you charge, it works. Whereas this one ain't going to do that, so it may have some issues with overheating in your batteries. This one says it has the song feature, the music feature. This one does too. We'll see if this one actually has any tune, I suspect. It doesn't even have it, but we'll see. This one has a USB port to charge your phone, etc. This one has two. So the rapid charge numbers they are giving with this Chinese knockoff are the same as the Makita ones. Same rapid speeds. 45 minutes for a 5 amp, 36 for a 4, 22 for a 3, and down she goes. I find that rather hard to believe. And the reason I find it hard to believe is this. On the back here, you will see this figure here, 4 amp. Okay, if that's only drawing 4 amp hour, 4 amps of current, it surely cannot compete with this one, which draws 9 amp. But if this draws 9 amps, the single one also draws 9 amps. If this is only drawing 4, I'm guessing it's only going to be going at about half the speed. But we'll see. If it can do it on 4 amps, what this can do on 9, I will be impressed. It has basically the same system of lights red and green flashing and stationary as the Makita system just without the one for the fan breaking down. Music test. Well there we go I was wrong. It happens occasionally. So there we go I've turned it off back on again. Seems like it's only got the one tune, whereas the Makita one has about four. And then off. So there you have, you've got two different beeps and four different songs. Whereas the Chinese one...
takes too long for it to register that you've taken the battery off, so you can't change it like the Makita one. So yeah, I think it's just the one song. Now of course the one thing that matters, how well they charge. These two batteries are both fully charged, they are the same vintage, I got them at the same time, they've only been used about five or six times these two. I am going to flatten them on a blower, or a pair of blowers shall I say, along with another two 5 amp hour batteries that came together at the same time. I keep them in pairs because I use them a lot now for my miter saw which is 36 volt and the angle grinders which is 36 volt drills, reciprocating saw, blah blah blah. So they usually get used in pairs so I know that they've been the same amount of time and they're numbered so I know how many charges each one's had roughly. This too is a knockoff Makita from Banggood. It is extraordinarily similar to the original Makita but if you have a look here the speed dial has a setting of 1 to 3 on the Makita is missing here although there does seem to be a place where it might have been and the end instead of being round yeah which makes it slightly difficult to get on the fittings because they are actually round cable tied fully charged 5 amp hours go <laughs> Right, I didn't see what time the Makita stopped at, but it stopped slightly earlier, but maybe the battery protection just kicked in a little bit better than on the Banggood one. The Banggood one lasts the distance for blowing time. Battery slightly warm, Makita slightly warmer. Two batteries ready to charge, just need another two. So my four batteries are now all dead, all flashing the one light there and they have been allowed to cool down. The two on the left are older than the two on the right. I'll put one of each on each charger and we'll see how long they take. All things being equal we should expect them to all finish around the 45 minute mark. Give or take a minute or two I would say. I've turned off some of the overhead lights so hopefully we can see this all a bit better. Let's go.
Well, there you have it. It's going to sing a nice long song. Right, so with that timing, you are better off, as long as you're hanging around near the charger, to put two batteries through a single charger than you are to use that double charger. Good thing about that is though, you can set it going, walk away, and yeah, do two batteries without having to change it over. Let's see if the USB chargers work. My phone's currently on 80%. I am going to charge it for 15 minutes in the knockoff charger and then the original charger, and we'll just see how much difference it makes, whether there's any difference. Let's go. Boom, boom. And away we go. Right, coming up to 15 minutes now, and we're on 88%. So we'll call that at 8%, and I will now stop this, and we will... I'll deplete my phone a bit, and we'll do it on the other charger. Back down to 80%, we will now chuck it in the Makita. The genuine Makita, which only has the one USB port. As opposed to this one, which has two. But it probably doesn't charge. I could do another test, of course. It's just how many tests can I be bothered doing on a cheap charger? Doing two things at once, it might slow it right down. Who knows? Or one might be more powerful than the other. Often that's the way with these sorts of things. USBs. So we're coming up to the end now, and it looks like this one is the winner on this particular stake. Look at that, 86%. This one was on 88. Wow. So, Chinese one's good for something. Charging your phone. Right, next, finally, we will have a look at why this one weighs enough to sink a small country, and this one feels like it would blow away in the lightest gust. This is the inside of the Banggood knockoff. Didn't look too bad, couple of little fuses in there. Everything stuck down nicely, nice and tidy. Looks all right. But then, you look at the Makita. Holy oh. Look at all the shit that's going on in there. We've got fuses all over the shop. Ceramic fuses, not very miniature glass ones like this one. Look at the capacitors and stuff in here compared to this one. This one, remember, is a genuine Makita and a genuine rapid charger, unlike this one, who we've seen is not rapid at all. Also, the other big difference, these two things at the back here. The fans. This one lacking fans altogether. So these are two identical boards put in, that's why they both have the USB charger. Two boards, stick them in, I'm guessing if you buy the single rapid charger you will get one of those boards exactly the same as that and it still won't be rapid again. The Makita, similar thing, you've got the two identical looking components for each charging side but then you also have this extra bit on the side with more transformers, fuses, and the area for the USB charger. And that is why that weighs a ton, and that weighs next to nothing. In fact, just the plastic top of the Makita one weighs as much as the whole unit of this one. So, thanks for watching guys. I do have one or two more of these adapted to Makita tools. <laughs> oh dear couple more to come, one of which is really cool and probably the, my favourite of all of them thus far. This one, however, I think it'll be getting flicked off. Cheers, guys. See you later.